Hi, in this video, I'll be going over the modifications I made to my Crescent Sholey kayak. I will also include all related video links in the narrative section of this video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the modifications that I've done to my Crescent Sholey kayak. And I'm going to start at the rear of the kayak where I have my modified trolling motor set up for quick release and you can also see how I've set it up for the pedal cable steering and the power to the trolling motor goes to the quick connect there right in front of the hatch and all the wiring runs through the hole so it's out of the way so on the seat here I have my wired remote for the ESC and then coming along to the side here for the pedal tracks, you can see I have my modified pedal with the Dyneema cord that goes into the tubing that also runs through the hull. And then all the electronics are contained inside the front hatch of the kayak. Now that everything is all connected, I'm going to test the pedal steering again. And again, if you look in the lower left corner area of this video, you'll see the prop turning from side to side. Again, everything works just like it should. All right, I have the Sholey with the trolling motor all set up, ready to go to test the ESC that I have connected to it. And you can see in the lower left portion of your screen that the prop is there so you'll be able to see it turn. And this is my wire remote for my ESC. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And you're going to hear three beeps and then one long beep, and that means you're ready to go. So let's go forward. Back to zero. And now reverse. And back to zero. So everything works perfect. Now I'm going to shut it down. This is a view of the interior of the front hatch where I mounted all my electronics. Right there is my 12 volt 60 amp hour LifePo battery and it's mounted on top of a poly cutting board if you can see down in there with VHB tape on either edge that attaches it to the interior of the hole so it doesn't move from side to side. And then I also have two pieces of aluminum channel cut out that I placed in front of and in the rear of the battery to hold in place as well as it butts up against the inside of the hole here so it's not going to move and I had a half cut done for this interior hatch instead of removing the whole interior of the hatch it's cut up to here so I still have this front area up here and I use that to mount my ESC unit and on the inner part of the lip here, I mounted my 50 amp circuit breaker. So all my electronics fit in there very nice. And when you close the hatch, it has a very clean look to it. And then I ran my wired remote out through here through a gland nut. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.